It is indeed a great pleasure, a great honor, always to be able to share with all of you, my kids at Bluefield State and your professors, Fulbright scholars who are currently at different universities in America. Every year, only about 30 to 35 American universities get to host Fulbright Scholars in Residence. This semester, we are going to have six of them visiting with us briefly to share about their countries, their customs, their cultures, and whatever else it is they wish to share, such as politics, and sometimes even how they behave or interact with us, the United States. Generally, of course, these Fulbright scholars are from countries with whom or with which we have good relations. And we try to also promote better relationships with such countries. I believe it is very important for you to be exposed to such wonderful scholars as the one we have today with us from the country of Burkina Faso. How many of you have even heard of Burkina Faso? One, two, three. This is the reason why we are giving away free passports in February. <laughs> so that those of you who are freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will take advantage of the free passport that we're giving away, and then you can travel wherever it is you wish to go. You don't have to go on the programs that Bluefield State offers, and we do have a couple of them in the works. One is to Russia this summer, and we are hoping if Dr. Eberall recovers and is able to travel, then we have Brazil. So these are the kinds of opportunities that we are trying to you know, present to you to take advantage of, learn about the world, come back home, and then help home become better. Because that's what it's all about when you travel. You come back home, you also learn to appreciate home better. So with those kinds of thoughts in mind, we are trying to cultivate and establish a whole bunch of activities that will allow you to soar. And it is our honor, actually, and our privilege to have you as our student. We appreciate you very much. You know, we really do. So if there are questions about travel, other countries, all those kinds of things, don't hesitate to ask. And, and we really want to see you all do some wonderful things down the road. So that is our hope for you. That is our goal for you, that is our dream for you. And then you become, you are the one who makes it a reality. Okay, so keep that in mind that all of us who, are, who work here at the college really want you to shine. Okay, and we try then with activities such as today's to help you shine. Now I hope in a few minutes that you feel energized. If you don't, you will get energized, okay? <laughs> So be prepared for that. I won't surprise you with what is about to come. But I am very, very pleased at this time to present to you our acting president, Dr. Ted Lewis, who has taken time off from his busy schedule to be here, share a few words. So I hand it over to Dr. Ted Lewis. Thank you, Dr. Jamkandi. I, I want to re-emphasize something Dr. Jamkandi said just a few minutes ago, uh, in that the Fulbright scholars are international scholars that travel the world, sharing their experiences, sharing their research, uh, sharing all of their teaching with us. Uh, it's very important that we receive these scholars here in the United States. But let me tell you something else that. Because of Dr. John Condi's leadership over this program, we've been privileged to have many Fulbright scholars, and just over the last year alone, I think we've had two or three on our campus, two at the exact same day. Uh, so again, th this is a very unique opportunity for any college in America. We were the only college in America 
counting some of the smaller colleges like the Stanfords and Harvards, they had two Fulbright scholars here on the same day. So again, it's because of Dr. John Condi's leadership in this program. Let me also say that today we are indeed privileged to have our Fulbright scholar, um, Agabu Sanu, if I, if I pronounce yeah. that correct, please tell me if I'm wrong. So again, uh, it is my distinct privilege to introduce him. We also have a certificate. <laughs> Normally we award this afterwards, and, and I understand it would be an opportunity for people to dance on stage. I've got a meeting coming up, and, and I promised Dr. John Condi that I would stay as long as I can. He accuses me of leaving early so I don't have to dance on stage. <laughs> uh, but I am here, and it is my distinct privilege to introduce our full black scholar. And here is a certificate of appreciation from Bluefield State College. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have a picture of you? Uh, picture, picture, close up. We don't have things like that. Yeah, <laughs> we don't either. Thank you. We appreciate you being with us. So, yep, let's get the light. Absolutely. Let's get the light. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, I call him Johnny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said something really interesting. He said uh, about free passport. You know, uh, on February I will turn to, to 36 years old, and U U.S. is my, kind of my 35, 35th countries I've been visiting, and in. February, I will be in Canada, it will be like 36, <laughs> and in April, in Israel, we turn seven country visiting and teaching and collaborating. So it's really, really uh, good for me to be able to share you know, with everybody. I'm from French-speaking country. English is my fifth language. <laughs> so if I don't speak very well, please understand, understand me. In my country, I speak three local language, and I speak French, and now I'm trying my best in English. Um, so I will invite you to join the stage. Don't worry, we don't jump high. We'll try to move our body slowly to communicate with our body. We'll do things like that. So feel free to join in our stage. All right, guys. Let's, Let's go to the stage.
That's right. Four, four, come back. Diagonal, 
for come back and uh, back. We do yeah, not me. We do like one, two, three, and four. <laughs> like shoulder, elbows, arms, come back. But be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be careful. So um, let's yeah from the top five, six, seven. This is clear. This is a little bit. Yes. Okay. And this guy is from his company. Fill up this. This is the one who created Afro Beats. <laughs> so, from the top, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, two, three, come back, and one, two, come back, and one, two, three, come back. Okay, so, that's coming. So, uh, uh, what we, what, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, like, the last one, like, one, two, three, I will come back by uh, right side. Come back by this side. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. was, so, it's like a fish, like the family of fish. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so, four, then I will do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Basket, come back. Okay? So, cross cap. Yeah. Cross cap. How do you call crossing cap? Cross? Is it called crossing cap? Cross over. Cross over. Cross over. Cross over. Cross over. Okay. So, let's try slowly from the top. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Four, four,
When you go somewhere and people are shy to say, oh, no, they won't do anything. But you are a kind of you know, actor. You are acting. Everybody was like, but now I can see how we move. Okay, so um, we need like one, two, three, four, one count, three, four. Um, one, four, we do one, two, step, step, one, two, step, step. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sense? Let's try all these steps. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. One, two, four, six. One more. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and start. So now, yeah. Can we try for this? Uh, Start. 
Thank <laughs> you. 